40 million dollars that's how much more the LADWP may soon owe hundreds of thousands of its customers for years of overbilling now days after the FBI raided the agency over allegations of possible criminal wrongdoing a new set of attorneys is taking a fresh look at that case and kick it on page has the story Here's the headline. The new attorney now representing the class action lawsuit against the DWP for overcharging says more than $40 million may be coming back to those people who were overcharged. It is a case that we have seen over the years as ratepayers not only receive high bills that they shouldn't have to pay, but also the emotional toll it takes as well. Take a look. I cannot pay 52,000. What, you sued me, put me in jail? What is this? When we first met Savieli Gorister and his wife Stella back in May of 2015, he told us his water was about to be cut off because he couldn't afford to pay a $52,000 water bill caused, according to the DWP, by a leaky toilet. And I was very mad and nervous, and I'm okay. Very bad is my wife. Stella, recovering from brain surgery, was having nightmares at the thought of losing their home. DWP General Manager David Wright told us it turned out to be a faulty meter. And we completely apologize for causing that stress in their life. When FBI agents descended on DWP headquarters on Monday, David Wright's office was one of their destinations. According to the search warrant, they were looking for evidence involving a number of crimes, including bribery, kickbacks, extortion, and money laundering. FBI agents also showed up at the city attorney's office. Based on what you have seen and the evidence in this case, do you believe crimes were committed? Yes. There's no question there were crimes were committed, just how widespread it was. There was a criminal conspiracy to defraud the court and to defraud ratepayers of money. Consumer Watchdog President Jamie Court points to court documents like this one filed yesterday by the newly appointed attorney representing ratepayers, which states, it is our preliminary conclusion that the customers and ratepayers of the LADWP were in some manner victimized by the city and or outside counsel's actions. The court document goes on to say, we have already identified approximately $40 million, which is owed to the customers. The investigation involves allegations that an attorney hired by the city attorney's office was improperly representing the city and a ratepayer at the same time in a multi-million dollar lawsuit involving overbilling in order to engineer a favorable settlement for the city. Now, how did they do that? Because they controlled the plaintiff in the case. Uh, that's fraud, man. How does the Department of Water and Power respond to all of this? Well, by simply saying, well, it cannot comment on the investigation, it is fully cooperating with the FBI. In Los Angeles, Randy Page, KCAL 9 News.